Hello everyone, in this video we will see what is turnstile activity in a workflow. Turnstile puts a limit on how many times a workflow can pass through a same point. What that means is, if your workflow is going through the same point again and again, it might lead into an infinite loop. For example, it usually happens in rollback to activity, where the same activity can go back again and again because it is going through the same condition. If you don't know about rollback to activity, please click on the top right corner and I have explained it in detail and why it can lead to an infinite loop we'll just see that also using turnstile activity we can put a limit on how many times it will pass through for example two times three times five times and that's it and then it will automatically fail or it will cancel and then go to the next logic of your workflow I'm currently in service now and I have created the same workflow which I used for rollback demo and here I have added a turnstile if you see the workflow begins here, it goes for first level of approval to system admin, second level of approval to system admin and if it gets rejected, it goes to a turnstile and in here I have actually named this turnstile as allowed iterations and I have allowed it only two times. So if the workflow executes this turnstile two times, it will cancel and go to the end of workflow. And if it is less than two times, it will say continue and it will go on to roll back the approvals and again create a catalog task. And if it is already created, it will reopen that. And that's the same logic of roll back too. Let's quickly test this in service now. I'll go to maintain items again. I will open this catalog item, roll back demo item, which I had already created for testing this workflow. If you don't know about catalog items, please click on the top right corner and you will be redirected to a playlist of service catalog. And you can see here we have referred the same workflow here. I'll go ahead and create a new request from this by clicking on order now. And a new request will be created and I will go to the RITM number for that. And I'll open the workflow in a separate tab so that we can see step by step what is happening. And now in the approvers, I'll approve this as I'm logged in as system administrator. And I'll refresh the workflow. And it has moved to the second level of approval. And I will reject this now. And it will go to the turnstile and check if it is less than two and it will go to the rollback activity and create a catalog task and reset those approvals and now i will go again back to catalog task and close this task and as soon as i close this the workflow will move to approval first And you can see it has been now requested. I'll approve this. And again, the second level of approval will be activated. And I'll reject this again. And it will again go to the turnstile and it will check it is the second time. So let's allow that. And then again, roll back. And then again, we will reset those approvals after this task is closed. I'll just repeat it quickly. I'll approve the first level of approval. And I will reject the second level of approval. And I will refresh my workflow. And here you can see now it went here. And it saw it has been more than two times now. And it actually cancelled the workflow and didn't move ahead. If you want to see the detailed description what was happening behind the scenes. We can go to workflow context. And we will be redirected to workflow context record. And here we can go into workflow activity history. And here we can see all the details when was that approved continue. And if you notice here, we have sorted it by descending order. So the activities which happened first are at the last. And here it allowed the iterations because it was one. And again, when the approvals were rejected, again, iterations was allowed to continue because it was the second time. And finally, the third time it was cancelled instead of continuing. So that is why the workflow was cancelled or ended. So this is how you can manage your workflow by going into an infinite loop and you can handle these situations very easily and especially when you are using a rollback tool. 
I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions, please let me know in comments. Please do subscribe to my channel.